It is now my pleasure to introduce today's senior class speaker, Abby Heller. <laughs> Abby was born in the Ukraine, grew up in Connecticut, and today is graduating cum laude with a major in neuroscience. At St. Thomas, Abby has been a student leader in residential life, served on the Lou Ann Dummer Center for Women Advisory Board, and was a student ambassador for the College of Arts and Sciences. This award-winning student received the Sister Pat Kowalski Leadership Award, the St. Thomas Women Connect Scholarship, and the Excel Scholars Research Grant. Abby was also named to the RISO Phi National Residential Honor Society. After graduation, Abby will begin a new role in New Jersey as a manager in an autism research lab at Rutgers University. A committee made up of students and university staff selected today's speaker. Please welcome Abby. Welcome, family and friends. Thank you to the faculty, staff, and administrators for years of encouragement and support. I know it's been a long few years, but we're happy that you're sticking with us for a few more hours. To my classmates, I know some of you may be tired of me always speaking, but bummer, because I'm going to take a few moments to talk to you about power and change. When I think about my time here at St. Thomas, I can't help but think about all the change how I've changed, how St. Thomas has changed, and how the world around us has changed. These changes aren't mutually exclusive, and some changes for the better, some for the worse. I came to St. Thomas as a typical 18-year-old with a fairly individualist mindset, although I'm sure my parents might have chosen different words to describe my teenage sass at the time. However, when I walked through the arches four years ago, I changed. I became part of a community. I started listening to the stories of people around me, and I quickly began to value, support, and honor their differences, just as they did for me. But most importantly, I learned I don't exist within isolation. As I changed, St. Thomas was also changing. For example, the opening of the Doherty Family College. DFC now offers an associate's degree designed to provide students with a smooth transition into a four-year college by helping them overcome financial, academic, and social obstacles. And shout out to their first graduating class tomorrow. <laughs> the new Center for Student Achievement integrates academic supports, career development, and research opportunities to provide equitable resources and empower students so we can all thrive. Even our day-to-day -day St. Thomas has changed. With more accessible spaces and more food options for those with dietary restrictions and preferences. We have new mental and physical health resources, more scholarships, and more study abroad opportunities than ever before. St. Thomas is a better place than it was four years ago. And I think that's in part because of us students. In the past years, we have experienced hate, loss, and fear in our St. Thomas community and the world around us. But our community did not freeze. Rather, we made change. We responded by honoring, remembering, and reflecting. We've had hard conversations by sharing what was difficult to speak, and we listened to each other even when it was difficult to hear. Together, we've made changes as a community that we hope and pray will last for generations of Tommies and empower them to make more positive change. I don't know if y'all have heard, but occasionally we'll get reminded that we're now a change maker campus, meaning some people from Ashoka U designated us as an impactful change making institution. We're the first in Minnesota and the 40th in the country overall. And I guess we're kind of a big deal because of it. And I actually think that's true. Change is a big deal, and making change is a big deal. 
The change-making skills we've acquired should empower us to help find lasting solutions to social, economic, and environmental problems all around the world. But having change-making skills is not enough. If we want to become agents of change, we need to start by acknowledging our power and our privilege. Fewer than 8% of adults in the world get access to a bachelor's degree. And starting today, we're part of this privileged few. We have to start thinking, how will we use this power and how will we use this privilege? The world around us is changing, some for the better, some for the worse. With the ever-growing social internet, we are seemingly connected to anyone and everyone in almost an instant. And we can now see things happening to people all around the world with ease. And this changing connectivity is powerful, but it comes with the responsibility of ethical global engagement. To throw in a fun commencement speech cliche, I'm giving my fellow graduates a quote to work with. It comes from St. Catherine of Siena, where she said, be who God has meant you to be and set the world on fire. And I love this quote. I love it because each of us is unique and powerful and amazing, just as we were meant to be. But also dangerous, like fire is dangerous. I mean, there's a reason we can't have candles in the residence halls, right? With fire, we can burn the wrong thing, and that's when people could get hurt. That doesn't mean we shouldn't set the world on fire, though. Honestly, I'm here for it. Just when we set the world on fire, we got to be smart about it. We need to listen and not just assume we know how to do things the best way for others. And we need to use all our resources. We're not alone in this, so don't be afraid to ask for help. The community we've all built these last years does not end today and meaningful change does not and cannot happen in isolation. I know I've given us quite the to-do list, but uh, I think we can do it. Take time to be proud of what you've done here. Going forward, claim your skills and achievements and show compassion and value towards others and their skills and achievements. But most importantly, listen and be smart about when and where you set the world on fire. Thank you for listening, and again, congratulations to us.